Yeah, my clue was that we didn't have silverware. Everybody else had silverware. Okay, we thought we'd just give you a quick update after our first few hours on board uh, Norwegian Encore. Um, first impression? Big. And Ooh. crowded. Yeah. <laughs> it's very crowded. Um, we're on a three-day, we we were invited here on a media trip, and I don't know if everybody else on here <laughs> was invited or if they are paying uh, passengers or guests. I don't know yet. We'll find out tonight. Uh, we're going to a kind of a cocktail reception for the media uh, at 6 o'clock, <clears throat> so we'll know more. Maybe I can ask them then because I don't think the whole ship would hold. There wouldn't be that many media people in the world. So it has to be maybe travel agents or paying guests or whatever, but... It's crowded. It is very crowded. Whew. And uh, we, you know, we got done with the muster drill, which they did at 4 o'clock? 4 o'clock. And um, you don't have to take a life vest, thank God. In fact, I haven't found a life vest in the stateroom. So I don't, I guess they keep them on the decks, but... Um, and if you show up, like, last to the muster drill... You stand up the whole time. Yeah, There's where, no place to well, sit. Well, that's where we were. Some people went to the theater. Oh, yeah. But we, we were, were in, in the lounge. We were in the whiskey bar, Yeah. which would prove very helpful if we had to evacuate the ship. That would be a good place from which to evacuate. That's right. That's probably where it would be. So. But anyway, um, it's a big ship. It's <laughs> what we've seen. We went to the buffet when we got out. Well, first thing we did, we went to the... Me, uh, the Love library, Club. well, we went to the library to check in with the media people to get our packet and some, uh, you know, information, the schedule. The schedule and everything that we're supposed to do on board. Itinerary. Itinerary. Mm -hmm. And then after that, we thought we'd go to lunch. So, <laughs> <laughs> so the first thing we wanted to do is we thought we'd go to the local, which is like uh, Oceans on Breakaway, I think, is kind of their pub and they have a pub bar menu. And where we walked in, uh, you just basically <laughs> walk in and we sat down at a table. We didn't see any, we didn't see a hostess station or anything. Okay, so we're at the local and getting ready to have lunch. It's about not quite two o'clock. And uh, then we're gonna head to the room and check it out, see what the state room looks like. Sound good? Uh, we're, we're capable. So, we're big. We're big boys. Yeah. Nobody waited on us. So after a while, I got up and walked around. I found on the other entrance where you come into the restaurant, there is actually a hostess station. They're supposed to seat you and give you a menu. We didn't see that where we came in. So yeah, my clue was that we didn't have silverware. Everybody else had silverware, and the wait staff just kept looking at us. And nobody ever came over and said, "You need to go get seated." They just ignored us so we left so there were about 10 people waiting in line to get seated so we thought well we'll go try the american diner and by now it's <laughs> getting close to two o'clock so we went up to deck 17 i think that's where it was and uh walked to the american diner and they had another big line of people waiting to get in there and they close at 2 30 or 3 or something like that 2 30 yeah so they suggested that we go to the garden cafe which is the ship's buffet well we tried to go to lunch at the local that didn't work then we tried american diner and they were about to close so now we're going to try the garden cafe see if we can get something to eat so then we walked to the front of the ship which is on the same deck <laughs> and uh, went to the buffet, and it was actually pretty it was nice. nice. It was okay. We found a place to sit. It wasn't too crowded. It was crowded, but not too bad. And then we found a nice booth yeah. and uh, had some Asian food and had this big bowl of uh, like a Japanese udon noodle soup. It was really hot. And it was actually yeah. pretty good. So um, we enjoyed that, had lunch, and then we came up to the stateroom and did a little video on the stateroom. And then we went to the mustard drill. And that's kind of where we are now. Now, after the mustard drill, oh, oh my gosh. Oh. And you <laughs> saw everybody on the show. It was so crowded. Wow. We were trying to find a drink. We were trying to go to a lounge to have a cocktail. I was so thirsty. I just wanted some water. Yeah, we just wanted a drink of water. 
And because we, when we got to our uh, stateroom, there was no water in the stateroom, no bottled water. So we were looking for something to drink, mostly water, but we wanted to have a cocktail too. And all the bars were just packed after the mustard drink. Oh my God. So we finally went to the casino bar, which I think is called the Skyview Bar or Skyline, 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 Skyline. Bar. And um, I, I had a sparkling wine and she had a mojito and the sparkling wine is actually very good. And it was not quite as crowded. So we were able to sit down there and have a nice drink. And um, then we got a couple of bottles no, of water. No, we sat at the casino machines yeah, we sat chairs at, because there was no other place to sit. So we pulled a chair out the from machine. the slot machine and sat there. But the way their slot machines are is pretty nice because they have like little glass tables in front of the slot machine where you can actually sit a drink. So it was They do? Of, yeah, it was kind of a glass. I thought that table. was part of the machine and you were just putting your no, it is. Um, but, they, but the way it's designed, you can actually sit. I just it. held mine. Yeah. I uh, put mine on the table. <laughs> I also spilled one too. Yeah. Oh yeah. Chris but, spilled his his drink. Knocked mine over. <laughs> But anyway, that's where we are right now. We're back in the stateroom, obviously, and we... Um, obviously. Obviously. Why is that obviously? Well, I mean, there's a picture behind us, and it's quiet. <laughs> there's no crowd. Oh, yeah. So where else would you be? <laughs> so uh, we're going to the media cocktail reception at 6, and then I think we're going to a barbecue restaurant, Q Smokehouse, at 7.30. 7. Or 7. And then... I don't know what else we're doing. After that, we're doing some game I'm night thing. So we'll tell you more about yeah, it tomorrow. We'll know. fill you in on all the details. But uh, it's I wanted, big... we wanted to go to the show, but you have to make a reservation, and we're not really sure how you do that. Yeah, yet. it's uh, we couldn't do it from the room. We went down to the ticket office, the box, the box office. office, which is at the theater where you're supposed to get a <laughs> reservation for the show. And I think the show's at ten o'clock tonight. So we thought we'd try to go to that. But it said box office hours from 1, 1, 1 p.m. to 3, 3 p.m. So three. we may have missed that window. So I don't think we're going to get to see Kinky Boots, which is one of their Broadway shows or Broadway-style shows. So, unfortunately. I don't, so know. Anyway, we'll, I, I don't know. It would be a shame to miss the shows. I mean, they have Broadway-caliber Broadway shows yeah. on this ship, what I, from what I've heard. So it'd be a shame to miss it. Yeah, it would be. But I think we're gonna. I know we're gonna see one in a couple of nights for sure, because we have reservations for that. I think the they may the choir they, of man. Yeah. So anyway, we'll get to see one of the shows at least, and we're going to something called some sort of game night thing tonight. We don't know what that is, but we'll tell you about it later. And uh, that'd be laser tag. That's it. So tomorrow we'll be able to tell you about Q Smokehouse and the game night and whatever else happens. Between now and then, so Ooh. we I like I kind of like the stateroom. It's pretty quiet in here right now. So yeah, because everybody's trying to <laughs> get a drink. I guess so. So I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to get another drink, <laughs> and then go to the cocktail reception and have another drink. <laughs> and uh, I think everybody on here gets the drink package, so they get the unlimited uh, cocktails, and that's why the bars are so busy because there's everybody's getting free drinks or what they're not free, but they've paid for the drinks. I think that may be why they're so busy. I, yeah, or it's the inaugural. This is an inaugural. Yeah, this is I mean, like this the first three days. This is a spanking day. brand new ship. Yeah, this is the first time it sailed out of Miami. It didn't yeah. sail until 10 o'clock tonight. We were kind of hoping to go throw some money away at the casino, but <laughs> I guess we're not going to be able to do that till tomorrow. Make a donation. Make a donation. So anyway, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If, uh, uh, if you want to, please click that little subscribe button down below. Click the bell. And you'll see the uh, notifications for the next videos we have coming up. We'll be doing some more vlogging from the ship. Or if we can't get it to upload using this internet on the ship, we'll do it as soon as we get back. So anyway, thanks again. We'll see you next time on I... Cruise Man, Cruise Man's Garage. It's not Cruise Man's Garage. <laughs> we'll see you next time on CruiserPort.com. Yeah, yeah.